stupid. I can't believe it's just so stupid. So stupid. Oh, hey, welcome back to New Soccer Wars. I'm your host, Ultra Director Jester, with the Niskel. Ooh, you. Oh, well, we had had quite a day uh, yesterday, and now it's time to go to our room and take a nap. Oh, I the am. The bed is calling. I am beat. This whole day took a week. And, well, we're at our intermission now. Wow. Nothing happened. <laughs> so, we check our team status. Okay. We now have uh, two new Aww. members to add to the stage. Anastasia and Azami. So how does that change? How do our standings change? Hey, Hatsuho's down the stairs now. All right. Sweet. You love to because see it. Because of that. We now become a two-star captain! Hey! Amazing. Simply amazing. Oh, yes, yes. Good. Wonderful job, Kamiyama. Good job. Yes. Good job, Kamiyama. What does that do for you? Uh, I, I don't think it does much. I mean, maybe it changes morale when I start battles. Okay. But yeah, let's keep going. Wait. I mean, I mean uh, let, 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 let's keep going. Does this game autosave? Uh, there is an autosave, yes. Is it just, like, between segments, or if you do something bad, or...? Typically, yeah. Okay. God, I love that shot. Alright, so today, we're gonna finalize on what kind of show we want to do. Romeo and Juliet, go basic. Oh boy. Oh, they're practicing. Don't open the door. Knock first. They can't even walk in a straight line without clocking into one another. And this is why we needed professional help. We're doomed. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> no people should move this much. It is very distracting, I know. Especially with our dumbass falling on the ground, we're just, we're basically like mini pelvic thrusting. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry I ran into you. Heh, heh, heh. I was just sitting here talking to her for about two minutes. I'm exhausted. I'm working up a sweat here. Oh god, I mean, when you're acting this good, I mean, you gotta take a break every now and again. Your eyebrows are clipping through your hair, young one. It's ninja secret. Oh. Yeah, let's figure out a play. Okay. Yes. She's going to play the lead. Auditions? No, no, she's the most capable actress out of all four of you losers, so she is the lead. Oh, thank God she approves. I thought she was gonna say, well, why did you even ask me to coach these girls if you're just gonna give me the lead? Sugoi. Kakui. Hentai. <laughs> Grab him by the giblets! <laughs> Alright. So now we're gonna go and ask everybody what they think we should play as. What okay. they think what the play should be. Get everyone's opinion, gather them all up, and we'll choose from there. Oh, hello, piano. Alright. Guess we'll start with, uh... 
Uh, Hatsuho, what do you think, huh? Yeah, I'm just, I'm just gonna keep Sakura out of the out of the camera That's for these fine. parts. That's fine. So Musume Dojoji. Beauty of feminine dance. You dance for over an hour? Um, uh, for this group? That's suicide. Would you be dancing, Hatsuho? What do you mean by that? I'm a great dancer. <laughs> Well, either choice was kind of crap. <laughs> it's like, would you be dancing, implying you're not feminine enough to dance, or what would you be doing, comparing that you're not feminine enough to dance at all? So, I don't know what they expected. I want you to use those moves to blow my mind. But, while, while a good idea, remember, Anastasia's is the lead, so we gotta focus on her all the way. Alright, who's next? Uh, Dub Dick, uh, uh, Claris? Azami, what do you think? Ooh, a play with ninjas? Tempting. Tempting. I like a good ninja story. Seriously, Azami, you can use those eyebrows as ninja stars. They are so, like, protruding. Well, okay, maybe ninjutsu isn't really a good idea. L let me see a stage play with ninjas. It's just a blank stage. Because ninjutsu isn't a spectacle. It's an art. To build to build a show around it might be a bit disrespectful. So, probably best if we don't. Yeah. Mm-hmm. See, I'm doing this all for you. You, you must understand. Well, at least she understood. Okay, next up, uh... Hey, Anastasia, what do you think? I mean, you're gonna be the leading lady. You get to you get to choose what you. Oh, Sakura's still on the camera. Just nope, just get, the, get, get, there. We go. Get all four of them. But yeah, perfect. There we go. Oh my god! Wouldn't that be an awesome plot twist if you know if there's one girl you don't spend enough time with, she eventually like fades into memory. Okay, how about something not from Doki Doki Literature Club? God damn it! Oh, I just love that so much. So she well, wants to do a play that she's never heard of before. Okay. Uh, I'll ask someone who might know. Good boy, yeah, okay. Kamiyama. Good boy. Alright, uh... Next. Claris? Thoughts? You know, I just got a bad thought. What's that? No matter what we say to all these girls, it's still going to be Sakura's decision, isn't it? Well, don't forget, this is Claris's chapter. I uh, know. Ah, ah, there we go. Perfect. But she is never the, the main character. So she can't think of a single idea. Not a one. Well, I'm glad you're in my review. Get lost. You're really helpful, ain't you? Well, let's just reenact one of your books. Yeah. Yeah, yeah get inspiration from a book you like. Read a book. You're good at that. Well, narrow it down, then! I mean, which Narrow book? it down! Which book is like, your favorite? Oh, they're all my favorite. Okay. Get ten, chop that down to five, make it three, and pick one from those three. It's easy. Uh, now for you. The block her out what with you... your body. I want to do Princess Kagi! Yeah, okay, yeah. Get you out of the camera, and... Oh, I like Princess Kagi, I just don't like you. And all of a sudden we get a death mark and is just oh god no not again. Uh, yeah, how's the story go again? Ha 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 ha. Kakuya loves men. Kakuya will do anything for Kamiyama. I would watch a stage replay of death of uh NG. NG, yeah. That sounds awesome. That would be great. It would be a, like a 20-hour play, but, you know, you still get the gist of it. You can, you can shorten it down. Mm -hmm. 
Maybe cut the spirits from like seven to like three or four. No, we don't. We only have like two ideas. Everything else was crap. So, first thing we gotta do is we gotta get a script. Can't do anything if we don't have a script to work with. We need to know what kind of dance we need, what kind of sets we'll need, who'll be acting what, who'll be doing what. That means that's gonna be the thing we need. Yeah, perfect. Claris, why don't you write us? Why don't you write a play? Automatic bestseller. I mean, you you read like every book there is to read. Surely you could be able to construct some sort of great play. It'd be a play that Anastasia's never heard of before, so that'd be that. It'd be something to probably impress these four geniuses. Is that, a, is that a possible? Just, just write. You can do it. If you don't, you're out of a job. Let me put it that way. I'm not gonna lie, dude. All this intrigue is putting me to sleep. That's okay. That's okay. Again. That's fine. That's fine. Do whatever you need to do to stay awake. Ugh. Come on. Maybe a little less of that. Come on, Claris. It's your chapter. Show me what you can do. All right. You can write, a, write us a great, thrilling, exciting play. You've read every book there is to read. You you should be able to do this no problem. Write us a murder mystery that breaks the fourth wall. All of a sudden, you find a body in the audience. Wouldn't that be amazing? She's too much of a misery guts to... But don't worry. You've got this. Did one of the you gotta keep your spirits up. One of those options say, we'll just punish you then. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the wrong option. But I try to help, to help her out and that doesn't do anything either. So what do you want me to do? Do you want me to punish you? Is that what you want? Yes, Kamiyama Senpai. Please punish me. Maybe that's what she needs. Maybe she needs negative reinforcement to light a fire under her butt. Alright. Let's go talk to Reiji. About the stage machinery, because we don't have a script, but we can certainly talk about the stage already. It just seems like we didn't do anything there. Like, did we achieve anything? Yeah, we achieved that we're gonna have Claris write a play. That was it. But we have no money, remember. I swear I've heard this guy before. Well, let me look him up. Look, you know how AAA games over here in America get like the same four to five actors because, you know, they're well known, they do their best work. Does Japan do the same thing? What do you mean? Like, do they hire the, you know, the same four or five actors for basically everything because they're so good? Well, they got a lot of actors, though. I know Daisuke Ono is one that gets recruited for basically everything. So this guy is Tomokazu Sugita. Name one other role. Kyon from Haruhi Suzumiya. No shit! I- yeah. Wow! Okay. <laughs> That's a pretty good credit. And because I got, uh, I know I have some JoJo fans in the in the house. Oh, I was on his, I was on his wiki. I just saw it. The fuck? Oh yeah, he's he, he's Joseph Joestar. Oh, cool. Uh, in video games. <laughs> He's the Japanese voice of Kaz Miller from Peace Walker. Okay, that's hilarious.
And he's Yusuke, uh, Yusuke Kitagawa from Persona 5. That's where I've heard it. Uh, all right. Yeah, he's, he's, he's been in plenty of things. Plenty of things. So he needs a favor from us. He wants us to go get a magazine for him. Cool. What kind of magazine? News, new Steam Monthly. He's looking for those hot Steam deals. Basically, so he can be kept up on the latest Steam technology so he can really wow us away in the, in the stage with the no money we have. Check it out, Kamiyama. It's a new steam-powered coffee maker. You add water, and then you add water, and then you eventually get coffee. So now we have an extra place to add, and- oh, wait. Please come in and come in guest. Oh, there is a guest coming! Okay. So we better head to the lobby fast. And there, and, uh, there are some new bromides to get here, because it's a new section. We got a green exclamation mark over in that area. So... First off, we go into the wardrobe here. Not in this dressing room. The wardrobe. But we gotta, we gotta take care of this guest first. Oh, now okay. this get, now this guest... It's too bad she's not part of the main girls, because I love her. Woo! Look at you! This oh, is my this is my yeah. absolute favorite character in the whole game. Oh man, look at that design. That's hot. She is awesome. I fucking love her. Oh my god, who are you? She's the best. Show me your ways. This is Hakushu Murasame, swordswoman extraordinaire. Fucking awesome! I beat her in koi koi in like two hands. <laughs> well, I mean, she's master of swords, not master of cards. So the reason why she's awesome, I mean, well, fucking look at her. She's 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 kick ass. She's got a cool face. She's but of course, she's tied to Sakura. This is Sakura's former swords teacher. Still awesome. Don't care. Re reason two: give Sakura shit. <laughs> Yes! Rash, foolhardy, impulsive. And says it with a smile. Ma'am, you are too good for this game. Yep! Yeah, thank Abs you for pantomiming that swordplay there. Absolute queen. <laughs> well, she's a shit swordswoman because she doesn't have her sword with her, compared to Kamiyama and Hakushu, who both have their swords. And she's so great, she's self-taught. And the biggest reason why she's awesome. So she show. She show that can. I don't think it translated well, but that was a pun. Uh-oh. <laughs> no wonder you love her. She has a pension for wordplay. Oh, my dear. Let me take you far, far away from this terrible game, and we'll have a great time together. <laughs> so what was that pun supposed to be? I mean, I, I kind of saw the wordplay, but uh, that's that's got me curious. Could we, like, get that voice clip again and retranslate it, basically? <laughs> Let me try and think. I'll, I'll see what I can do. Okay. Maybe there's a Reddit out there who knows that wordplay. So, so, um, they do nothing with her. God damn it! They do nothing with her. 
All she does is sit there and have a joke or two. Waste. Wasted. Utterly wasted. But hey, here's a bromide. Is it of her? Kana Kirishima. Okay. God, I miss that aesthetic so much. So much. Alright, another bromide around here somewhere, I think. There's a couple more. Why is it that some of the best side characters just sit around and do nothing in the games and they... I don't know, there's just this era of cool around them? Because the writing's shit. Hey, Lobelia Carlini! Oh, hell yeah, I love that green. Yeah! Enchante! Enchante, you ape. Whatever. <laughs> What else you got? <laughs> like, who, who's the the random guy just throwing bromides everywhere? Guy's got a hole in his pocket, maybe? Maybe he's just like, ah, yes. A designated waifu hunter, just like me. So it's, ah, there it is. Wow, they are just all over the place. Another bromide. Diana Caprice! Alright, the Bird Whisperer! Hey! Yes! The Depressing right. Bird Whisperer. What's up, cheater? <laughs> you know, this is kind of Divine Province. I mean, she called us Usher Crusher, and we're just gonna call her Cheater. Yeah, we're friends. We're friends in the same way rivals are friends. Was that well, Anastasia? Well, wouldn't this be really funny if this is all voiced? It would be. I mean, not by much, but it would still have more of an impact. So I think the director was trying to pass off saying, Oh, well, it's it's really hard to, you know, have all, you know, in a, in a dialogue-heavy game such as this, it's hard to voice all the things. And it's like... Don't, don't bullshit me, man, alright? Don't bullshit me. There's plenty of visual novels that have plenty of fucking voices. Yakuza, another one of your, uh, your series, has plenty of voice acting. So I have no idea why you did all this and just did, just, you just didn't. You just didn't put in the voice acting. I don't get it. I mean, that just... I sense rushing, but I don't think it was rushed, because if you there's a lot of spit and polish in this game. So I guess it was just like use your imagination and you know, um, think of what they would say? More spit, less polish. Well, I mean for some this might be their favorite game in the universe, whatever. But I guess it just depends on the company, because yeah, I hate to make the comparison, but Persona 5 Royal has even more dialogue that is voiced. So, like that probably took, like, what, six months? Yeah, boy, why couldn't Sega, you know, put put that much effort into one of the... Oh, wait, that is Sega. Yeah, that is Sega. <laughs> so, I don't know, man. Uh, and since this didn't get an English dub, they had plenty of extra time to, you know, voice all the extra lines. So, it wasn't a time thing. It, Dude, it's, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna look at that article. Thing. There's an article? It was like an interview he was doing. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, s see if there's an actual part of that interview saying why a lot of the, like, mini scenarios weren't voiced. Yeah, Ex find it here. Excuse me, sir. The, the story seems a lot different from previous Soccer Wars entries. Can you explain why you went in the different direction that you did? Well, that was a thing. What else you got? Oh, wait. More speaking. I'm just so excited that he's just gonna be a part of... Whatever. Look, I want an Anastasia pin up as much as you do, girl, but we need to... We need to slow it down a tad. Aw, oh, man. Show her the bromides. 
Super rare. Yes, the Paris is what she's looking for. The Triumphant oh, okay. Paris review. I'm an Erica Fontaine girl. Erica's not exactly a French name, but it might be. Coquilico, however, is very French. I can't find it. I'm just trying to skim through it while we're recording. I can't. Well, yeah, it's so, all right. Well, never mind. The point is, they're hacks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, cut, print, move it on. Stop moving. Like, is there such thing as, like, anime seasickness from a character moving too much? Realize how we're not really getting character moments. We're just... They're just troping at us. Oh, look. She's the excited uh, fangirl. Look at her fangirling over the, the big actress that we brought in. Hey, Komachi. What's up? God, what's that? The, okay, there are a lot of parody anime that make fun of the very tropes that they are presenting. Yes. I think one of my favorite ones is, uh... Oh my god, what, what's the show called? Gintama? That's one of them. So, so, Kamachi ordered ten whim chimes, but she ordered a little bit more than expected. Oops. How many do you think she got? Uh, 7,000. Well, she's talking about the extra zeros. She got a thousand wind chimes. Awesome! There's a lot of money we just lost. You're fired! Yep. Like, you are so fired, and you have to buy those yourself. Blend S. Uh well, if we fire her, we have to give her severance pay, which we can't afford, so we gotta keep her on board somehow. So how do we how do we turn this around? Uh, okay, let's sign them. Just just have a bad idea. Just have the girls sign the wind chimes. Bam, value gets jacked up. There we go. Bing bang boom. But if you could sell anything just by scribbling on it, I'd have it easy. Yes! It is that easy! <sighs> Anyway, that show I was talking about was called Blend S. Basically, a bunch of girls working at a maid cafe, making fun of all the dweebs that enjoy tropes like this. It's hilarious. <sighs> oh, trust me, I am thinking about it. Ditching these chumps so we can go and make millions together. Cameraman, can you not... Could Sometimes. you please not, yes. Can you just do something else? Like, go have a coffee or something? I mean, it's bad enough she's not wearing pants. Oh god, why did you... No, I didn't even notice till you said something. Alright, okay. time to buy a bromide. Now we can get Anastasia's <gasps> bromides. Ooh. So I will go with Clarissa's today. I mean, it is her chapter after all. Huh, which book shall I read today? Wait, Clarissa's last name is Snowflake? Yeah. Really? Clarissa Snowflake. <laughs> So I know we've had, we've had a lot of negative stuff, but uh, I will say one positive thing. Oh, it's, it's very, very minor. The transition from place to place is great. Dude! I love this. I like that! The colors change based on the time of day. Oh. Yeah, I like that. I almost wish this, this was on PS1 so it would last longer. <laughs> you gotta love load times. So stupid me didn't see the blue exclamation mark by the newsstand there. So I'm like, where do I go? Where do I go? What do I do? Do I go to the hotel? Oh, there it is. I see it. Yeah, yeah, there it is. I mean, you know, I, I, I didn't get it. I got it right, didn't I? There I just is. realized something, UDJ. What's that? 
We are almost to the point in console generations where load screens will be a thing of the past. In fact, I think PS5 has already eliminated massive loading screens. Which means... Uh, I doubt it. Uh, we, there will be a time, eventually, in our future where we won't have beautiful transitions like that anymore. Until they make the games more intensive in graphical power, so that way, you know, they still have to put in a loading screen to load all this shit. I mean, probably the most unique loading screen I've seen, you know, besides uh, very beautiful ones like this, is every chapter of Metal Gear Solid 4 having to download the next part, and Snake just takes a smoke break. Before you could just download it all at once in, in, a, yep. in, in an update. So hey, it was an article saying about how NSH is gonna bring everything back. Yeah, all right, cool. That was that was totally worth our time. It was. I I'm glad Anastasia, the girl with the most personality, obviously, is getting a time to shine. I uh, love it. Love Got to see it. More of this, yeah. All right. Reminds me of peach iced tea. Ooh, that sounds fabulous. Uh. No, thank you. I would like to investigate your sweets, ma'am. So here we are at the bookstore. Oh. Duh. So I don't know much about 1940s Japan, but I'd figure if you're looking for a magazine, you look in the, uh, magazine section. Oh! Hello, girl we just saw literally 15 seconds ago. You Why are all the side... You have unnatural eyes, girlfriend. Why are all the side characters better than the girls we have already? Oh, is she good? <laughs> eh. She doesn't do it... For, she doesn't do it for me, but she could do it for somebody. She's like... Got cat's eyes. I don't know. Hey, audience, does this do it for you there in the hot mom community? Alright, let's look around for new Steam Monthly. Hey, guess what? There it is right there. See that yellow book right there? The, the, the yellow spine? That's it. Yep. Ta-da! You know, just right in the reference section, I guess. Allow me to help you find a book that you're looking for in the Claris story. A story about Claris, who is clearly here. Japanese Sweets Monthly. Wow, you're a fan of Japanese desserts, having owning a shop of Japanese confectionaries in Japan. How unusual. God, a lot of these conversations read like, you know, my old uh, Japanese class conversations. Hello, I am so-and-so. Please join me in my shop next door. Do you know where this magazine is? Ah, there it is. It's a magazine about Japanese sweets. Wow, you must like Japanese sweets, don't you? God, it reads like a Bioware game. <sighs> At least these people have expressions. Oh, I, I, I think we've gone to the opposite end of the Bioware spectrum here. Because now everyone's just... Can't sit still! God, she's happy. I know, right? So, so that's that Hiromi. That's, that, that's Hiromi. She's, she, she's okay. So when we get a chance to go to the sweatshop... I, I, like right now, we'll go to the sweet shop. Okay. Sweet, sweet shop. Sweet shop, not sweatshop. Aw, the girl who's most like a child likes sweets. Imagine that. Hey, Hatsuho likes sweets, too. Hatsuho and Azami come here all the time, apparently. Oh, okay. 
Wow, didn't think I'd be seeing you so soon, even though it was right after our scene we just had. God, just calm down. Okay, now it feels rushed. Like, the trigger for this cutscene was probably being in this territory. I hate this part, too. It's like, so what are you doing here, huh? Oh, she's being kind of, you know... She's, she's avoiding, and she's just like, oh, it's, I'm, not, I'm not doing anything. And then he's like, oh, yeah? What are you doing, huh? Doesn't sound like nothing. It just sounds like you're doing something to me. Are you spending money? Are we reprimanding our not child? Like, l let her eat sweets. Who gives a shit? What were you talking about, huh? What were you doing? What were you buying? What were you doing here, huh? What'd you, what'd you say to her? What are you talking about, huh? You pull out a sword, put it up to her neck. What were you doing with the sweets? A secret? You can't keep a secret. Come on, I wanna know. Tell me, what is it? I gotta know. What'd you say to her? What'd you buy? I gotta know. What's, this, what's the secret? Like, Seriously. who gives a shit? <laughs> Screw off, us. It's just sweet. So that's how it is, huh? Well... And I'm, I mean, I'm like, I'm like, dude, lay off! Guess it's not my business! Just lay off! That's the second time you've suggested punishing somebody! Hey, look at that! Wow! Thanks for being mature about it, but we weren't! We were just being a dick! Like, I know we're playing a character, but he's he's just radically inconsistent about everything. That was a tonal shift that gave me whiplash. Yeah. It's like he's, like, trying to get a confession out of the Joker. Like, where were the other drugs going? What sweets did you just buy? Like, well, she she's here at the sweet shop. She frequents. She likes sweets. What do you think she was fucking doing? No, I think you directly meant to. Yeah, no, it, it was your intention to be hard on her. Oh. I hope you'll drop by again soon. Oh, hi, I haven't seen you in quite a while. Thank you for coming to my sweet shot. Ah, he's such a booty nah. <laughs> What you got? Cut the no ye. <laughs> oh! Oh no! No. Combat. Time for time for combat. Wait, hope we haven't done anything. I hope you're awake because now it's a random encounter. Let's do it. It's a raid alert. <sighs> time to fight. No way. Way. No way. way. Yes. Because the game hey. can't sit still for one second, so now, let's go fight with Sakura what? AGAIN! I cannot get her off my ass! So wait, they stripped down the combat just to add more of it into the game? So here we go! Yeah! This is fascinating. Isn't it? How often does this happen? Uh, it's, wouldn't like, say it's, this, it's it's not constant, but it does happen. Like, is this gonna happen every time we go out into the wild? I don't, I don't think so. I I think it's contextual. Okay. Like, oh hey, a zombie's getting sweets. You better throw in a, a random encounter. I think what happened is that the game realizes, oh wait, you just had a scene with Claris, and you had a scene with a zombie. Okay, back to Sakura now! You, you need to earn some more points with Sakura because you spent too much time with Claris and Azami. So we we uh, programmed this, this demon raid in here so you can get used to that and get some more points with Sakura! You know, I've got an interesting theory regarding the whole Sakura thing. I mean, you're, you're playing a, a partial dating sim, you know, that's, that's fine and dandy. I have a feeling they give you so much points with this main girl so that when you play this, you don't accidentally, like, end the game lonely. Like, she's the pity fuck that you get at the end of the game. 
To that end, I say, quit being a fucking coward, game designers. Let there be a lonely bad ending. <laughs> oh, I mean, now you're just being an Annie YouTuber. <laughs> Please don't. A what? Anime YouTuber. They the worst those? kinds of YouTubers. Oh, oh, I get it. Those are the guys that spend like two hours talking about why this one episode is the worst thing ever. The hardcore fans of anime, aka the wretched hive of scum and villainy. I, could, I mean, I could never have that much vitriol and hate for one subject. Anyway, uh, we're nearing the end of episode 7 of this hate fuck of Soccer Wars. <laughs> How's your skull, Soccer Wars? Let me get another orifice ready. And we're done. Oh, and we're right back into the town. Great. That, that was it? Yep, just, that was it. We just move on to a new location if we want to? Yep, now we're gonna give the, uh, the magazine to Reiji, and hopefully move on with the story. This is I a solid... See, I say oh. hopefully. I say hopefully. Who's this guy? I was gonna talk to him, but I ended up going to the theater. What? He had a speech bubble! As if I'm not annoyed enough. Oh, we added a bad guy. What makes you think he's the bad guy? From the way that he's talking down everything that we're trying to do here, and he looks like he's evil, and if you look at his body language, he's clearly, clearly evil. Hello, we have yin yang evil dudes. <laughs> there is no subtlety here! And we just happen to walk in on that. Every character has just one note. Oh, he's the token evil dude! He's the president of Wolof. The World Luxury Operatic Federation. Basically, the folks in charge of the combat reviews since the uh, Great Demon War ten years ago. Dude, just change the O and the L. It still works. Colin Wolf. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Look at that, we're out of time already! Oh no! Now I gotta wait till next episode to give Reiji a stupid magazine. <laughs> you know what? That's okay. Let's do a little cool down. Yeah, I, I think I need one. So, the best way to cool down is to mess with the walk cycle. So, here we go. A little bit of a jitter. See you next time on New Soccer Wars.